Let's talk for a second about the helmet of salvation. It says in the Bible in Ephesians chapter 6 to put on the full armor of God that we may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And then it says um, to put on the belt of truth, then put on the breastplate of righteousness, right? Um, then put on as shoes for your feet, the preparation readiness or the readiness given because of the gospel of peace. And then it says, above all, take up the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Take the helmet of salvation. Let's talk about the helmet of salvation. You see, the helmet guards your mind, guards your head, guards your brain, right? Guards your face, right? Well, yeah, the, the, the Roman helmets, they would, they would also have some helmets that would guard your face as well. Some, some might have, some might have not. But the point is that it guards the important parts of who you are. Right? If you take out someone's head, right, their whole body's dead. Right? If you take off someone's arm, they could still live. But if you take off someone's head, they're dead. That rhymed. Hey, man, I should be a rapper. Anyway, <laughs> uh, take off someone's head, they're dead. But you see, God wants us to guard our minds, because the battlefield, the battle rages in our minds so many times. That's why the Bible says take every thought and make that thought captive to obey Christ. Take every thought captive, every imagination, right? We bring that into subjection with the truth of God's word. You see, the helmet of salvation, reminding yourself that you're saved is so important. Jesus said, do not rejoice that demons are subject to your name. Don't rejoice in what you see. Don't rejoice in temporary things. Rejoice that your names are written in the book of life. Even after the disciples did so many miracles <coughs> and did all these amazing things, Jesus brought them back to rejoicing in their salvation because that's the key. Jesus was trying to teach his disciples, keep remembering that despite what you see in your circumstances, if you're saved, that's what we need to focus on. You see, the Bible tells us that we should remember our salvation. We should remember the fact that we're going to heaven. Ephesians 2 says that we used to be dead in our trespasses and sins, and we used to be following the course of this world, the prince of the power of the air that's at work in the sons of disobedience, but God was rich in mercy, and he saved us. He died for us. He gave us eternal life. He raised us up with Christ, and by grace, we've been saved. And then it says in Ephesians as well, it says, remember at one time you were alienated from God. You were strangers from the providence. You were without hope and without God in the world, but now you're brought near by the blood of Christ. Remember that you used to not be saved, and now you are saved. You were on your way to hell, but now you're on your way to heaven. You were once darkness, but now you're translated into the kingdom of light. And the more I remember that, the more thankful I am, the more peaceful I am, the more in love with God I am, because I remember the cross. I remember what he did for me. Don't take your salvation for granted. Don't forget it. Keep reminding yourself that you're saved. If you have been saved, if you've not been saved, get saved. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Put on that helmet of salvation. Always remember what Christ did for you on the cross. It will change your life.